afternoon. The Australian Transport Safety Bureau is investigating. More than a thousand cyclists have set off on a ride to conquer cancer. Survivors and their supporters are pedalling from Perth to Pinjarra and back to raise money for cancer research. Ride! A sea of helmets and lycra as 1,300 bike riders prepare for a two-day cycling challenge. I don't cycle, I never do, I've never had a bike. So, uh... I'm not, I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> For Perth father Ian O'Toole, this is more than a physical challenge. His heart is well and truly in the fundraiser. Ian's wife Fran was diagnosed with a rare form of pelvis cancer in June last year. Doctors have told her she may only have two years to live and only a 10% chance of beating the disease. Within a week she couldn't walk, she can't remember anything because she was on the ketamine, metadone, really high levels and they said she might not walk again. Franz endured months of radiation and chemotherapy and she faces more surgery to stop blood clots near her heart. But the family's not giving up hope. You can either let it, you know, either way, or you can just get on with it, so that's what we're doing. Oh, I'm really grateful that I'm still here to tell the tale. This morning, Ian and three of his mates hit the road to support cancer research. The 200-kilometre cycling event is WA's biggest bike riding fundraiser. The riders' hard work has paid off. They've raised $5.2 million for the one in three Australians who will be diagnosed with some form of cancer in their lifetime. With the discoveries that we make, we actually are able to uh, come up with new treatments and new cures that impact on people's lives. The cyclists will stay in Pinjarra tonight and ride back to Perth tomorrow, crossing the finish line on Sunday afternoon.